Hello everyone. In this lesson we're going to talk about the top 10 IT jobs for 2018. We'll give a brief description counting down from 10 down to 1, give a brief description of each job, what the median salary is for that particular job, and what the particular number of jobs that are expected to be added during 2018. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we go through the top 10 list, what are some of the themes about IT jobs for 2018? Well, developer jobs continue to remain strong, as in IT security is a really hot area right now. In addition, support uh, personnel, the, the demand for support personnel also remains strong as well. The source for this data is from a U.S. news report. I've included the link here on the slide, and also include the link in the description as well. So coming at number 10 is a computer programmer. And with a median salary of $79,840 and projected job loss of 22,600 jobs. So this is, and this will conflict, you'll see this later on in, in the slide with a software engineer. The computer programmer, according to the data from U.S. News, is more of an entry level uh, uh, programming position. And the net loss is accounted for by some of the entry level positions are being done offshore now. So that results in, in, in a net loss. But the, the job demand you'll see across the rest of the categories is high and uh, the, the gain as well. So this is more of an entry level position that would be closely supervised by a senior developer and they would work closely together. So coming in at number 10 is computer programmer. So coming in at number nine is a computer support specialist with a median salary of $52,160 and a projected job growth of 87,100 jobs. So a support specialist uh, may work on the help desk. Uh, they may enter trouble tickets. They may also do desktop support and other types of uh, support uh, tasks as well. So. Um, Again, this is an entry-level position, but it's an excellent position maybe as that first uh, entry-level job and entering into the IT market. Uh, it could lead to a career in uh, networking or uh, server support or uh, even development. So uh, this is a terrific way to get started in information technology and, and get your foot in the door. So coming in at number nine is computer support specialist. So coming in at number eight is a web developer. Web developers develop websites and technologies like Microsoft's.net or in Java uh, or in open source technology such as PHP and others. So there are lots of different development stacks out there for web developers and the, the demand continues to remain high for web systems. There's also a ton of work out for maintenance of existing web systems and also moving web systems to the cloud now. A lot of activity in uh, refactoring and rehosting and, and taking advantage of cloud technology. So a lot of work going on there. So coming in at number eight is a web developer. Developer. So coming in at number seven is a database administrator with a median salary of $84,950 and projected jobs of increase of 13,700 jobs. So database administrators work with technologies like Microsoft SQL Server or the Oracle database or uh, DB2. So their job is to back up and restore databases, help design databases, uh, troubleshoot performance problems with databases. So uh, a lot of activity around databases since a lot of web systems are powered by a database behind the scene keeping track of uh, orders and transactions and all types of things. Also data warehousing is also playing a large growth, uh, a large part in growth of database systems as well. So at number seven, database administrator. So coming in at number six is computer system administrator with a median salary of $79,700 and a projected job growth of 23,900. So computer system administrators uh, uh, administer all types of uh, accounts, uh, uh, system software, uh, all types of different, uh, and they may assist with operating system patches and system upgrades of all kinds. Uh, more and more, these types of uh, personnel also assist with cloud computing operations, perhaps uh, provisioning new virtual machines, all sorts of administrative uh, tasks uh, around the cloud for uh, backup and restore uh, a wide variety of jobs. And so uh, with the increase of online systems, uh, 
that run 24 by 7. Uh, more and more administration work is needed every day. So this is a uh, this is a good opportunity for a job with a pretty high job growth rate of 23,900. So coming in at number six is computer system administrator. So coming in at number five is a computer network architect with a median salary of $101,210 and a projected job growth of 10,400 jobs. Network architects uh, uh, may uh, work for a company and oversee a, a corporate network uh, of all the uh, uh, multi. If a company, a large company, has multiple locations, they'll oversee uh, the corporate wide network and all of the uh, uh, interchanges between their different locations. Uh, some international companies may even have a, a network that spans a, a worldwide operation. So this can be a job with a lot of responsibility, keeping a corporate network online. Uh, in addition, uh, government agencies also have a large Large uh, networking installations and and also the armed service, uh, very secure networks in, in those uh, those cases. So lots of different uh, uh, corporate uh, and privately owned networks uh, uh, to maintain. So a lot of job opportunities. So number five, computer network architect. So coming in at number four is computer system analyst. Uh, with a median salary of $87,220 and projected job uh, growth of 53,000 jobs. So a lot of demand for computer system analysts. So sometimes these jobs are also referred to as business analysts or BAs. So these people help develop requirements for systems of all types. They also may assist in uh, testing and, and also the rollout of a system. So they're integral in software development projects as they define requirements from the end users and work with uh, corporate sponsors of projects to understand what a, uh, what a system needs to do. And because of this, that's why they're sometimes they're so intimately involved with the requirements. They're also great assets to have for the testing and perhaps the documentation of the system as well because they understand fully uh, kind of the origination of the re with where the requirements came from. So number four, computer system analyst. So coming in at number three is IT manager with a median salary of $135,800 and projected job growth of $43,800. So this job can be a very high stress job is that they're involved in all types of activities, uh, supervising uh, software development, perhaps supervising uh, the network uh, or an operation of some type, uh, maybe the server uh, administration. So managers can span all the way up to uh, you know, heading an entire department or also uh, even heading the entire IT operation and the chief information officer. So IT manager, uh, lots of growth. It's the highest salary, uh, a median salary on the list, but it comes with a lot of responsibility and potentially a lot of stress. So uh, number three, IT manager. So coming in at number two on the list is information security analyst with a median salary of $92,600 and projected job growth rate of 28,400 jobs. So this is a particularly hot area of information technology right now, information security. There's lots of growth in this area, a lot of opportunity. Uh, salaries are going very high as uh, the, the supply of uh, security personnel is not keeping up with the demand. So this is a super high uh, growth area, but it does require a lot of training to get certified. Certification is big in this field. You really need to have those uh, uh, credentials, certification credentials to get these types of jobs. And uh, there's numerous certifications to, to, to have and, and to get to, to be able to have and maintain these jobs. So uh, at number two, information security analyst. So number one on the list is software developer with a median salary of $100,080 and projected job growth rate of 253,400. So not only a high starting not only a high median salary but also a large demand for software developers. Again, I think I want to contrast this in, in reading through the, the, the data from U.S. News. that This is a senior position or a more senior position than the uh, programmer position that was listed as number 10. Still a strong demand. Uh, 
the programmers of this sort, uh, it's difficult to effectively uh, offshore this uh, because of the communication issues and time zones and, and, and all the, the management difficulties. So lots of demand of software development in all types. So, so uh, mobile development, web development, uh, artificial intelligence is a big growth area right now, all types of data warehousing and data consolidation. So tons of software development work going on right now. This is a difficult job, uh, requires a lot of ongoing training as the tools and techniques are constantly changing and uh, software developers have to adapt to that. So uh, it's really uh, a lifelong process of, of change and adapting to new languages and techniques uh, over time. And uh, I've been a software developer and I can tell you uh, over the 30 years I've been doing this, uh, technology has changed in an incredible way. So so keeping up with this is a huge challenge, but uh, number one on the list, software developer. In summary, the demand for IT workers remains strong in 2018. Salaries continue to push up and the demand is strong across a number of fields. Those for software developers, uh, information technology, security uh, uh, personnel, and also management personnel, the, the demand is pretty strong across the board with uh, very uh, very good salary growth, and it looks like really there's there's no end of this trend, in, in, at least in uh, the near future. So that's really it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.